it is. Okay. Guys, for this video. I'm Isaac. Damien. For this video, I made What's your a name? bouquet of flowers. I'm Josh. I'm Josh. Um, and it's, uh, it's dandelion. You probably have to speak up. I'm not sure they'll be able to hear It's you. dandelion. Okay. So, so today, we <laughs> we're going to be taste testing Virgil's root beer. It says, winner, NASFT, outstanding beverage. No preservatives. And it's micro brewed. With 100% natural ingredients imported from all corners of the world. Oh my gosh. Which means they believe the earth is flat or a cube. Since 1916, our family has been making soft drinks using traditional recipes to create distinctive original flavors. I'm reading back, okay, by the way. I'll read this part. Okay. Too. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Originally, uh, originally brewed in the north of England, Virgil's is made with natural what? ingredients, nutmeg, imported anise, and wintergreen. The brewing process gives Virgil's a rich, creamy body and tastes so Isn't pure. Different labels. You'll, so, you'll oh, swear yeah, it's made in heaven. These first soft drinks were rich, full-bodied creations, far hardier than today's root beers. Wait, is yours different than mine? Mine, I'm reading down here. So, we shall test. Well, that is amazing. Hmm. That's an interesting root beer. It is. It uses stevia as sweetener, oh, so goodness. it has a different aftertaste than most normal soda does. Mm. You gotta try this stuff if you haven't. It's like, you can definitely taste the nutmeg that's in there. It's interesting. The nutmeg's yeah. definitely, ah, I taste that. I gotta say, like I just had a Coke about an hour ago, and this is delicious. Like. Yeah. How does this compare to? It doesn't compare to Ethereum. Like they're they're in two different social classes. Yeah. But this one, I mean, that doesn't mean to say which one's worse or which one's better. I mean, this is the Ethereum was ob obnoxiously snobby. Like, oh my goodness, this is like your classy social drink. Working man. The soda. working man soda. You know the working man who has like. Who works two part time jobs, um, is a loving father, and just wants to do something for himself for a chance, he's gonna drink Virgil's. Wanna know why? Because it makes him feel good about himself and it lets him relax. And the man on the front has a beard. Yeah, that too. He does. And he kind of looks like Jesus. He'll swear it's made in heaven. Oh, well, that is true. Oh Maybe my gosh. I didn't see that and I was about to swear. <laughs> I say that like it was false, but I was actually like, it tastes heavenly. That was my, one of my first thoughts. All corners of the world. All corners of the world. They believe it's... Oh, dude, like I totally food. taste the licorice in this. Yep. Yeah. Licorice, wow. vanilla, bourbon, cinnamon, clove, wintergreen, sweet birch. What's wintergreen? What is that? I have no idea. I'm lighting up this video. Okay. You're in this video. I am. Yeah. Sweet birch, molasses. I mean, the, the thing is on the center of the table, and it comes down to center, which is me. Pimento berry oil, balsam oil, and oil of copsia. Copsia? Copsia. Let's look copsia. at how healthy this is. Gluten free. 160 calories. Oh, pretty good. 42 grams of carbohydrates. Good, 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 good. 42 grams of sugar. Zero grams of protein. And the bottle is made out of 100% recycled material. Oh my goodness. This is like all around amazing. I don't have to feel bad about anything. Beverage. No preservatives, no natural flavors. It's just pretty much a lot of amazing stuff and sugar. Oh yeah, but what about this paper, this paper here? Is this recyclable? I wonder. Mm. Something's got to be wrong with this. You know what? It's too good to be true. Virgil. V-I-R. Gluten-free root beer. 
R W O C B. What does the U in the circle mean? Does that mean it's kosher? The what? U in the circle. Does that mean it's kosher? U in the circle. If you look down, I think it means that you're in the circle of life, and this is a part of the circle of life. So right here, is it kosher? Oh, I thought that was just a weird trademark. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Where? Down underneath. Um, Honestly, it's nutritional facts. why would you need alcohol? Okay, for beverages like people, this? people. If you are wondering what we're referring to, don't knock the phone. It's this zero circle. No, don't. you in a circle. I don't know if you see that. That's what we're seeing. So I think. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah. We don't know what that means. Way to show our audience what we're talking about. I think they needed that. Thanks. Let's let's give Josh some applause. We congratulate you. So I think that we should read. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It says also try Bavarian nutmeg. Virgil's root beer Bavarian nutmeg version. And for other excellent products, see Bottom Carrier. Bottom Carrier? Bottom of the Carrier? <gasps> oh my More words, Jackpot. More Virgil's Jack products. They need to sh show them, show the audience what we're seeing right now. But let me see it first. I don't think they're going to see that. Whoa! That was a super good shot. That was good. I think they see it. Okay. Isn't that cool, guys? You could have paused the video if we didn't give you enough time so that you could, like, see everything on the box. And I think if it was blurry, there's an app for that. Uh, why does it say Reeves? What? It says Reeves and then there's Virgil's. Reeves? Yeah. There's Reeves Ginger Brews. And then These there's bottle Virgil's. caps are cool. Probably owned by the same company. A very high profile, all natural company. Does a nice job with soda. So rich and creamy, you'll swear it's made in heaven. Maybe Jesus owns both of these companies. <coughs> now, this is that also the enough. winner of the 1994 International Fancy Food and Confection Show's Outstanding Beverage, as well as in 1996. <laughs> Definitely the most potent flavor in this, other than the root part of the beer, is the licorice. Like, you can really taste the licorice. And if you shorten up licorice, it sounds like liquor. So that, that makes it the beer part of the beer. Well, no, it's kind of liquor. It's liquor-ish. Liquor-ish. I see what you did there, baby. Okay, so we're com we're co uh, co um, we're um, or a or a commemorating. commemorating 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 this video for Wes Wesley who, McBride who couldn't make it here today. The flowers are for Wes. As is the as is the, the offering. Fourth. <laughs> the fourth virtual survey. guys, he's gone. Uh, oh, no. We're gonna miss him. So Wesley, when you watch this video, from wherever you're at, probably Michigan. Miss miss you. I hope you feel sucky because you miss this. No, you must honor the not present. I thought you guys were drinking beer. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry for drawing a penis on your mom's van today. That's I feel gross. Like I should say sorry for that. <laughs> Why'd you have to say that? This was a, an appropriate video. Now we've got to change the reading. <laughs> PG-13. Thanks a lot. Disclaimer. <laughs> Anything this guy says, don't listen to it. It's the root beer. We are not responsible for any lawsuits involving Josh and the words that come out of his mouth. In that case, I should just No. <laughs> words. No, but it wasn't a penis. It was two cherries with a stem, which is what I told you about. Did your well, mom, did his mom no, like ask you? I drew two penises and you erased each of them. Did you like, stop? And I drew a six. She was like, you know what rhymes with six? And he was like, six. So I was like. <laughs> okay. Again, not responsible for this kid. 
all lawsuits do not go to the wandering eye. They go to Josh and his non-existent YouTube channel. No. Wait, you uploaded something to Vimeo, right? Do you have a Vimeo channel? I don't remember what it is. Lawsuits go to Josh's video, Vimeo, Akin. I'm pretty sure you can't get lawsuits for cussing. Or, or, you know, I didn't even cuss. I said, I used, I, I went to the bathroom with my language. That's, that's what I did. No, bedroom. No, we're I talk, done. I talked about private part. Anyways. Moving on to more important things. This Virgil's root beer is really good. It is. It it's has like, a really cool cap. I'm not going to try. But it does. Trust him when he says it's a cool cap. Uh, what In other playing? news. What are you playing? This is our last day here at college. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty much our last school day. Of, uh, of freshman year. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being rude today. Josh must be rubbing off on me. Thanks. Yeah. But seriously, I mean, we're about to head to the summer for Josh and I corral tour. Because we see. What? What? Getting it. So, yeah. Getting it. For everyone is leaving. I am everyone. Poor Damien. For the world. <laughs> Way to be egocentrical. I mean, who knows? Maybe we will come back next year and suddenly regret ever making these videos. I don't know why we would. No. Maybe I will turn into a serial killer and not allow us to make videos. Well, I don't think he'd come back to the school. I would be perfectly fine to still be friends with a man who, you know, went after Lucky Charms and Marshmallow Maybes and You know, I was really excited about this flower thing at first, and then I realized, you know what? Wait, that actually looks kind of cool. You think like, so? I don't think it does. Oh, uh, shit. Sure. Well, these ones are like... In memory of Wes. <laughs> what are you doing? Also, the ingredients are 100% GMO free. What does GMO stand for? Is it gold? Genetically modified uh, orangutans. Oh, that's definitely what it stands for. And without a doubt. Either that or oranges. Government military operations cream. Um, this is the Coke that I had earlier, too. And this doesn't say as many. I think it stands for gangster mob opportunities. Man, I was looking forward to those opportunities at Virgil. They're, They're like free. spiritual formation opportunities. Yep. But gangster mob opportunities. Damien. 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 Goodbye. No. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.